Hi, it's Adrian, and today I thought I'd go ahead and try one of the um, foundations that I love with a new Ultra HD foundation. It's not a new foundation, um, but it's new to me. And since I film in 4K, I thought I'd go ahead and try them on side by side to see really what the difference is. Uh, the one is the Pretty Fresh from ColourPop, and the other is the Makeup Forever uh, H Ultra HD from, yeah, Makeup Forever. Uh, as far as this, I've tried it once, and I really think that it oxidizes, but I wanted to go ahead and try it again alongside one of the um, foundations I really trust and see where the oxidation takes place. So, um, as far as this half of my face, that's going to be the Pretty Fresh, and I'll be one moment here. Okay, it's so managed to keep it on one side of the face this time, and it's over on this side. Um, I also did have some of the Pretty Fresh Concealer um, under both eyes here. And as far as this one goes, see to me, they look very much the same color, but let's go ahead and put this on the other side. And we'll see if it's actually oxidizing or not. Okay, so there they are, both sides. And um, so I think I'll start putting on some regular makeup here, and we'll see what we have as far as oxidizing effect. And I guess I'll do a check back in about an hour to see if it's actually oxidizing or whether I'm just kind of up by fourth ray and we'll be all done here. And then we'll do a check back and we'll see if it's really yeah, I think it's darker. I really do. Okay. And I mean yeah, see all around here. And then you turn back to this one and yeah. that versus that. So I really do think it's, it oxidizes and it collects right around here. But like I said, I'm going to leave it for about 20 minutes, actually longer. Let's do about an hour or two and see if it really does change it that much. Like I said, I am filming in HD, and so I am going to start these videos where I go ahead and check on um, HD products and the 4K and how they really show up on film and that kind of thing. So. Um, this is part of uh, the new series that I'm coming out with, and I'm running a couple of them simultaneously. So, um, 
Uh, I'm also going to be working on a new channel called 4K uh, Beauty in 4K, actually Beauty in 4K. So, um, let's see here. I can test uh, 4K and how uh, makeup kind of shows on it. Um, know that it's a lot different than filming in what we call regular, but when you do 4K, which is what this is in, now this uh, blush, or it's not a blush, it's a bronzer, um, and it's from Physicians Formula in the All-Star Palette, and when I'm looking at it, I'm looking at a lighter bronze tone and then a darker bronze tone. Um, but it definitely has a different color um, as far as what's coming off in the um, in the viewfinder, and um, so I'm going to be testing different um, different products and seeing how they work with 4K. So I just thought I'd let you know what I'm doing, and uh, this is actually going to be the first in that group. And like I said. Um, yeah, I'll be going ahead and coming back in about an hour to two hours. I'll let you know when I get back, and uh, we'll go ahead and um, check the foundation. Hi, it's Adrian, and I'm back. And um, I don't have any bronzer on. Uh, went ahead and used the Makeup Forever on this side, and... Um, the uh, let's see the pretty fresh on this side and uh, definitely found that it does oxidize um, it just that they're yeah uh, I had this in shade 218 which is in the fair group and so it definitely does oxidize definitely go ahead and um, get a shade lighter um, as far as the difference in uh, the actual finish. I didn't find that much of a difference as far as the finish goes. Um, yeah, I would definitely suggest going for a lighter shade. It definitely does oxidize Makeup Forever. I know that their powder foundation is like a classic for a lot of people and they're coming out with the Reboot. Um, it feels really nice on. The finish is very pretty. Um, it just oxidizes. And last time I wore it, I had a bronzer, um, and it just really went too dark. So um, I was just going to let everybody know about that. Uh, right now, I did go ahead and add the Superstay Ink Crayon on. Um, this one is in shade 25. And uh, as far as going ahead and uh, doing the garden, let's go ahead and do that. And there'll be just a moment here, okay? Okay, so this is my hydroponics garden. Um, I have a, uh, let's see, this part, this is actually, um, shopping unit which comes with plastic and you can make it into a uh, greenhouse and some inside and not really needing to do that right now. My hydroponics have been growing for a week now so this is sort of what I have and so they've all started um, going ahead and blooming here. Here, this is my actual arrow garden, and they're blooming there too. And as you can see, after a week, I have a whole bunch. So I am going to go ahead and uh, get some salad, and that should be in about three weeks, maybe a little less. And as far as the rest of what I have out here, um, I have some beans that I've started back there, as well as a couple of herbs. And then this new pot that I have right here is actually going to be bamboo uh, that I'm starting with the grow light. And don't put bamboo out 
uh, by itself, it will, um, it's like a weed, it'll go ahead and take over. If you're going to do bamboo, go ahead and put it in big pots, and that way it'll go ahead and work for you. Like I said, I just started those, they haven't popped up yet or anything. And um, these are where my salad, um, I got a couple of tomatoes in there, some radishes, a couple of onions, and so that's where I'm starting this year. So, um, thank you and have a good day, okay?